<clears throat> oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> I, okay, here, here's my theory. All right, some of, some of these players obviously don't don't speak English very well, so like you can kind of tell like who they are from their typing. But they they've been training for this tournament, right? So they've been like her learning up on their grammar and their and their how they've been adjusting how they type in order to disguise who they are. Training so up really, for the four and a half days that we've had signups open. <laughs> exactly, they've been they've been training not only in game but off game as well. These are these are true competitors, not wanting to give away any little detail to their opponent, letting anyone know. Who you they might be are. giving them too much credit. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> If you are and... just joining us, welcome to the Airmac 1v1 quote unquote incognito tournament where we are seeing Dog Axe and Flunge, two players that we don't know who they are, but they don't know who each other is either, so that's half the fun. Uh, this is a Smurf tournament, and so it's not until the very end that anyone actually gets to find out who they were playing against. Yeah, we, we're going to find out who the Papa Smurf is at the end of this tournament and it looks like we are going to see an osprey mirror match on twin peaks so this should be interesting this is going to be tank tetris galore uh osprey loves to have just the leapfrog tactics with pretty much all tank piles and on sure. twin peaks both, uh, both players playing industry standard bottom leapfrog Cap the outposts, kill the neutrals. All the generator. Uh, generator, I think, is a good decision here because uh, he's probably going to be lighter on repair units, heavier on guns. The generator is uh -huh. going to be able to one keep his mech uh, healed if he's getting um, attacked air to air. It's also going to be able to keep his outpost charged up. One of the big um, handicaps on this particular mission or this particular map, if you're playing mm -hmm. Osprey, is going to be that bottom outpost running out of energy because you're doing too much healing, you're doing too much micro, you're getting all your units topped off. If your outpost runs dry, you're boned. For sure. And it looks like Dogax actually with a generator of his own. And Dogax is being super aggressive with his micro up here, microing all the way up close to Flunge's outpost. And we're already seeing some tank fights happening. And I don't think either side has lost any units yet, but Dogax actually is going to get finished off by the Seeker over there. Wow. I wonder if Flunge can capitalize on this. Maybe. He is microing up his tanks. He is jumping around with his mech. It looks like he's going to yeah. kill one tank, maybe two here. And early losses on Twin Peaks is really rough. It usually leads to a snowball pretty pretty quickly, especially in high tier games. Really needed but, that mean, mech distract. He just dropped yeah. right into that concave and just mm -hmm. kind of needs to step back and heal for a little bit. Yeah, all of Flunge's units are pretty low. You see a few tanks smoking. But it looks like Dog Axe is not out of this at all. In fact, he's even keeping up his aggression. Even though he only has a few tanks left alive. Ooh, and that old oh, Flunge barely saving that Longhorn right there. <laughs> from that buster shot and it looks like he actually is going to be pushing out and wow losing a longhorn there losing a, i don't think this is the right move for flunge i think this is a little bit overzealous um hard to say because he is closer to his own outpost he's got a gaddy behind he's the one oh, on the ground he's so auto deploying sergeants i actually think this is going to go okay this from is, the sergeants yeah, i i agree wow going to be a little yeah. bit of extra force sergeants mm -hmm. blocking blocking the heat from the gaddy gaddy stays alive Dog Axe doing a really good job repositioning and getting a new new concave over on the left hand side though. Yes, I agree. He's doing a good job of microing back. He even had some butchers there, but the butchers kinda nullified by that gaddy. So they're not gonna get too much done. Even spamming some runners, but the runners are gonna face the same problem here. I think he needs to pull back and build some more maybe heavier units, but Flunge has also sustained a few losses. He's lost a few, like two or two or three Longhorn over here. So it looks like he's gonna be pulling back as well. And we're just going to see that classic Twin Peaks bottom stalemate. <laughs> I don't know. The, there's a pretty stark upkeep difference right now. I think Flunge has definitely got the upper hand, but he just hasn't gotten quite the critical mass that he can just push in. So yes, I think we're sure. going to see a little bit oh. more onesie twosie. Turtles? Do you see what Flunge oh. has built? I'm so happy right now. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Turtles have very heavy armor but they also have a big buff to their heal rate when compared to other units so if you have a turtle they, they have just... a ton of hidden buffs don't they especially when they're they, when they're in the armor mode they have yeah. a lot of buffs that uh don't quite show up on their stack cards so but turtles are really really good at tanking look damage how much health that heals from the osprey over time they are generally uh -huh. more efficient and faster at it turtles are a really good blocker but they got no guns so for sure, yeah. but I think 
I think Dog X actually has a good unit composition to deal with this turtle over here. The Busters are probably going to be your best bet at uh, bursting down those turtles as well as the units behind them. So it looks like uh, Flunge getting pushed back a little bit here. The upkeep has actually stabilized 24 to 22. So Dog X very much making his way back into this fight. And that turtle not doing flinch too much good, actually. He's soaking up a bit of damage, but nothing really to shoot behind the turtle, so he's not getting too much done. That's one of the trickier things about this map on Twin Peaks. As you start to get the upper hand a little bit in that fight, you're actually getting closer to your opponent's outpost. Their supply lines mm -hmm. are getting much shorter. They have a much easier time keeping their units alive. Meanwhile, you're going to have a much harder time doing the exact same. And given that you're an Osprey, you're a very energy-heavy mech. Uh, you're going to mm -hmm. need to constantly be healing and you need to keep cycling back to your outpost you're not going to be able to do that even so yeah it's kind of penalizing the victor plunge trying to open up a new front but it just kind of needs more units here dog X plainly sees yeah, what he's one trying gaddy to do drop, not gonna get too much done and i'm a little surprised that neither player has attempted to go for top usually uh how i like to play i'll put a few shooters down or some buckies atop so it just starts neutralizing it while i'm working on bottom but neither player has opted for that strategy and that, that would have given Flunge kind of an out in this fight. He would have been able to take top, potentially, if he did that at the start of the game. But he's just gone all in on this bottom, and he's kind of getting yeah. kind of getting wrecked at this bottom. Well, Dogax got that tech switch into Bucky's, and so Bucky's mm -hmm. do massive amounts of damage. Strange to see Flunge, like, noticing all of these missiles with no Aegis. Like, I, I had always taken Aegis it. to be standard, so the fact that... There's people mm -hmm. not bringing Aegis on a map when they know both players are going Osprey. This is going to be a leapfrog battle on Twin Peaks. Why would you not have Aegis, man? Yeah, I'm interested to see what else he brought instead of Aegis, if that's going to potentially turn the fight, turn the tide of the fight in favor of Flunge. But I don't see any other switches in unit composition coming out from Flunge. He's just desperately trying to stay alive just through Micro alone, but I don't think that's going to be enough for him right here. That's a lot of right-click holding going on. Flunge switching to left-click briefly, but losing a Longhorn for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't. You can't switch to left-click when you're playing Osprey. <laughs> there's only one. There's only one button that you can press on your mouse. I just like how I can just take both hands off the keyboard and mouse, just put them behind my head, and I'm not missing anything. This is Twin Peaks for you. <laughs> well, Twin Peaks when you're playing with Ospreys. Dog X saying, poor Ooh, guy, he's, he's throwing down it. the shade, bro. He's throwing down the shade. Poor guy, no Aegis. Dog X is striking Flunge in the heart. Yeah, Bucky's are... Bucky's are very popular with new players. They tend to be really overrated, but the truth is, Bucky's mm -hmm. can be very, very good if you don't Bucky's, have a Bucky's, counter. Bucky's, Bucky's can be devastating if you use them correctly and well with good micro. They're Flunge. very good units. <laughs> Desperately trying to open up a new front, just go anywhere else. So going for the top, thinking and this is my last option. If he takes top, he he might not be out of it. Some heavy mines on this Twin Peaks lane, and him taking top and maybe pressuring uh, Dog X is close. It could be a good opportunity to come back into this game, actually. But Dog X is having none of it, and he's pushing right away. Flunge does not put any heavy mines down, but he does have a fair amount of units to potentially defend this. But I think Dog X has enough to where he can take this close pretty easily he just needs one of these longhorn on the fort corner and then this push is paid for itself because he's just yeah, going to try much. and hold on the highway intersection have and... the buckies just do as much damage as they can oh, a little he's bit definitely of a miss micro yeah a little bit but he's but not losing too much just I think, creeps yeah, right in there this is green territory <laughs> plunge can't really get over to the center to do anything with his other units at this point yeah, this is looking like the beginning of the end for Flunge. Pretty much over, I would say. Even Butcher is coming out, and Butcher is going to be super effective because Flunge does not have a single Gaddy out on the field. He only has Busters. In fact, Busters is probably the worst tank you could have versus Butchers. That's a uh, death by Bucky, I think. I think Bucky really won yeah. that engagement when all other things being equal, I think Flunge kind of had the upper hand. Death by Bucky. You know what I'm really curious about, I wish I could have asked RUI when he was still here, is how he came up with the inspiration for these names. He has a random nonsense word generator that he found a website for. No way, really? And uh, so he just picked a couple of ones that sounded fun. Oh, uh, wow, okay. I would have liked to see like some... some alludes uh, to like, oh, no. older uh, players. There was like, no genuine like a... creative thought yeah. going on here, don't worry. I would like to see, like, a Rexit Ralph or something. 
That would be fun. We'll have to periodically change the names. Uh huh. For sure, for sure. So that that's a GG for Flunge for sure. That, that is puts us a at a one-one tie. We're moving on to mm -hmm. game three. I'm sensing a little bit of tension between these two players. Oh, yeah, this is actually pretty close. These players are very evenly matched. Happy that saying maybe next time I will join in the chat. Is this is this a play to throw of, off attention that of maybe course. Happy Dead is one of these players? Hmm. Who knows? Lunge, just owning up to yeah, I'm stream cheating. What you gonna do? <laughs> but yes, fuck you on your game for you. 